Happy Women's History Month! And not just Happy Women's History Month, happy birthday to me. Ironic that I was born on the first day of Women's History Month. Although my dad used to say I was a leap year baby, but mm, yeah, I was born in the odd year. Good one, dad. Good way to get out of giving me a gift. Anyway, I'm here to talk about some profound books that I love and the characters in these books, the hero, the heroines of these books, and how they've affected me and their effects on literature. So we're going to kick the month off with Zora Neale Hurston, Their Eyes Are Watching God. And we all know about Miss Janie Crawford. Now Miss Janie falls in love with a younger man, but in reading this book, you also know that Miss Janie dropped some knowledge, like the black woman is the mule of the world. You know, I've read this book so many times. I have notes in the book. Because I read this book initially in high school for a class, for my AP English class. And this book has stuck with me that I read it every year. This book has a special place. It doesn't go on my bookshelf. It, it has a special place on a table where I can pick my put my hand on it, pick it up, and just read something. Like, Janie's first dream was dead, so she became a woman. Hello? I mean, just that statement right there is so profound. You know, this book talks about the sacrifice that women make and have made for a millennial. To get along and and take care of family, take care of everybody but ourselves. So then when we make the decision to follow our hearts, like she did with tea cake, then we're judged. You know, and we have to rise above the BS in order to be our true selves and to live our truth. This book was first published in 1937, and it could not be any clearer or ring any more true today than it did back in 1937. We all know a Janie. We all know, we, we got Janies in our family. We have that auntie, that grandmother, that mother, somebody that, somebody told her she couldn't do it and she did it. And probably because she did it, a lot of us are here, so thank God for that. So... The star of the first day of Women's History Month is Zora Neale Hurston and Janie Crawford and their eyes were watching God. Now, I can talk about the impact that this book had on my life, but I'm not trying to bore y'all. But I will say this. It was Zora Neale Hurston who taught me in the 10th grade that I can write about black people. That was exciting. So, if you haven't read it, or if you need to just read it again, pick up Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. And read it. And think about the women in your lives. And think about how this woman made history, both the author and this character. And enjoy Women's History Month.